What's going on, YouTube? This is Jim Afanis, and I am back upstairs. You guys have no idea how excited I am to be sitting back in my man cave attic. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, the contractor who's been putting together our flooring has been the most lethargic person in the planet. We are now entering week number six, and we're still not done, but I said, you know what? I don't care. I need to be back in my room, even if it's incomplete. And if you're wondering what I'm talking about, I'll show you a really quick view. This is what I'm currently looking at right now. Nothing. <laughs> uh, my bookcase is not um, put, my games are not put back on because the floorboard over there has a big scratch and it needs to be replaced. I have not hooked up my game consoles back to my TV because the floorboard in the corner over there has a damaged mark as well. There are a lot of issues that the floor still has. However, I don't care. I said, you know what? I need to come back. I need to sit up here. It's important to me to be back with you guys. And I said, darn it, I'm going to do it. And I want you guys to see Noble Six's head. So I'm going to move the camera up like that. Uh, in addition, you probably noticed I finally picked up a microphone stand or microphone scissors, whatever they're calling them these days, you crazy kids. And I wanted to try that out too uh, for two reasons. Number one, I plan on doing a lot more of like a let's play type stuff. And as fun as it is to wear that goofy ass headset, it starts to hurt after a while. And I thought, hey, what better way to get back into gaming than to have a hands free, my hand, you know, I can move around my hands underneath the table around the side. In addition, when I do unboxings or I get my wife to come up here and do some videos with us or with me us <laughs> with us me Bruce Wayne and Noble Six all, all three of us when I get her to come up and do videos with us um, <laughs> I thought it would be nice to have a microphone we could put it in between us and move it around a little bit and have some fun with that so I'm looking forward to getting back into the swing of things my plan was to have this room done many moons ago unfortunately it is not I don't even have a rug underneath the table wood is very echo we, woo. I don't know if you could hear that or not, but uh, I can hear myself about a second late. So if it picks up poorly on the microphone, I truly apologize. But I really just wanted to mostly do a test run, get a video out there, kind of gauge some of the reactions, see what people think about it, check out the lighting, all that kind of fun stuff. Um, but here we are. We're up here again. So that's really, really exciting for me. I'm very happy to be back. I'm hoping I can move the PlayStation and the Xbox back up to Haas over there in the corner, get my TV set up over here, and we're going to have some fun. We're going to do some cool Let's Plays. We're going to do a lot more... Um, crazy videos and just have a lot of fun now that I don't have to share an office um, with my wife and do my uh, crazy videos there I can have a little more fun set up some goofy props on the table move the camera around I don't know we'll figure it out as we go along but um, I definitely want to make a continued commitment to uh, doing stuff on my channel uh, I mentioned this at the end of my last video, but I want to say it again. Thank you guys so much for the support. I know in the terms of YouTube viewership, I am probably in the bottom 1%, <laughs> and I'm okay with that. Um, I have um, some people who routinely follow, leave comments, and it's cool to meet with you guys on Xbox One or PlayStation 4. I met a few of you guys on The Division. We threw down a little bit there. That was a lot of fun, so very, very cool. Um, I'm enjoying that and it's just cool to uh, continue doing this. It's a hobby of mine. It will never be a career. I love what I love my real job way too much to give that up. But it's fun to just, you know, unwind at night and just talk about things that are important to me and which is video games. Um, that's my life. Uh, I always joke that I am a husband first and a gamer second, but sometimes I'm a gamer first and a husband second. Um, but it was um uh, a lot of convincing was done to get this room the way that I really wanted it to be and to put the things up here that I wanted to put up here. But I think my wife understood that this is something that I've really wanted to do for a long time to have kind of my own like studio type space. So when I get it all set up, we'll do another tour uh, together, another 360 of the old uh, Logitech webcam. I can show you guys all the cool stuff I have. But if you notice in my videos, sometimes maybe I have a little pouty face. It's because I'm looking at nothing. <laughs> I mean, there's just, other than a mounted TV on the wall, which doesn't even have a power cable, there's really not much up here at all. So we'll get around to that soon enough, though. I am sure of it. Anyways, um, I was going to talk to you guys about some of the news that was going on, but 
I was kind of hoping something bigger would break today, and it never really did. Uh, as expected, the PlayStation VR sold out almost instantaneously on Amazon UK servers. I think it sold in about nine minutes, which is insane, completely sold out. They have not yet announced when they're going to be launching it for the uh, North American store. Maybe it already came and, was, came and went, and I missed it. Uh, as you guys know, I'm not completely sold on VR just of yet, but I figure if I could throw some money at it and maybe by the time it's ready to launch, I'm interested in it. Maybe we can check it out together. But for somebody who wears glasses and for somebody who is really particular about uh, like sensitivity, like my face and wearing like big heavy headgear and that sort of thing. Um, I don't know if it's for me. I think a lot of people are excited by the initial price point, but keep in mind you do need a PlayStation camera and the PlayStation Move and a PlayStation 4 in order to make it work. So it's not like a the super cheap turnkey type solution that they advertised it as during their 13 minute conference just the other day. So uh, we'll be getting into that more soon, and it, when it launches, you'll know about it. The internet will break, and people will scream, and babies will cry, and then it will be over. And then we will just sit and wait and hope for E3 that's going to tell us everything we want to know. Um, two quick things I want to tell you guys that I'm really excited about, and then I'm going to get out of here for now, is number one, the Halo Finals, the World Championship Series, is going to uh, wrap up this weekend. May 19th, uh, May 19th, March 19th and March 20th. Um, I'm rooting for Evil Geniuses. I really like that team. I think they're really, really good. And if they play really well, I think it all is going to hinge on Commonly. If Commonly can play well, I think they're going to do amazing. Um, that I'm excited for that. And the Hearth, uh, Hearthstone Heroes of the Storm College Tournament is now in full swing. Uh, you can go online and set up your bracket. They have like a fantasy bracket. Obviously, it's a play on March Madness. Um, I don't know. I, I thought at one point they were doing goofy names like the Epic Eight and the you know Fantastic Four and just goofy things like that. I'm not sure if they're still doing that or not, but it'll be tournament style. Uh, it's going to broadcast on, I believe, ESPN2, which is awesome. Once again, I cannot say how exciting it is to be a gamer and to see that um, games are mainstream that are going to be out in the world for the you know the universe to watch. And the rise of esports, as I've said in many, many videos I've done before, is just an extraordinary phenomenon to be a part of and to witness. And it's a great time to be a gamer. So from Bruce Wayne, Noble Six, me in an empty ass game room. I am so excited to be back upstairs. I will do the rest of my videos up here and we're going to have a lot of fun in the near future together. I want to thank you guys so much for your support. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, I will see you guys on the other side.